guys it's Lel and I'm bringing a new series to the channel on Forza 4 something to keep my Forza 4 spirit going and it's paint at race it's, it's a series in which I'll practice my painting skills and it'll be a quick paint slash a car review really and it'll be like a track day so I do an online race see how the car is and I do a quick paint on it as you guys saw in the beginning and for me it's a really nice idea and for the first episode I decided to honor the Nissan 370Z it isn't the fastest car it isn't the best car it isn't the best Z but it's a fun car it's it's really tail happy it's fun to drive it's not the best drift car because of its weight but it's one of the funnest cars to drive as you guys see being low A class and bone stock, it can't compete with the top A class 600. Was it 600? Was 600? Was it? I don't remember. Um, start with the top A class cars. Here, as you guys see, a wreck on the left. A guy goes wide up there, but he doesn't do a mistake. I lose a bit of control, and the 370Z is a pretty nice car. I mean, this paint is really nice and simple, but it does the job and it actually makes the car look pretty cool. I enjoy it. And for me, this will be a really fun idea because you guys can tell me what car to do, what paint to do. I'll try to do it if it's in my level. And then I review the car, as you guys see. And for me, the 370Z is extremely fun put it that way if you just wanna mock around and let's say tag I advise you to use this 370Z cause it's just the best car for the job and it's probably even the funnest too as you guys see right now I'm ninth, not very good so far this was a race in which I took a really long break from Forza 4 from so as you guys see I'm not racing really well going wide some places losing a bit of control but I have all assists off manual with clutch and simulation steering only thing I have on is the racing line cause I don't wanna mess up too bad put it that way and there we go we get another position now we're up to ninth once again and we're not doing that well I mean, third lap, or just ninth, but in twelfth place. Also, another thing is, uh, since Forza Horizon, the Forza 4 lobbies became so much cleaner. I don't know if it's because all the little, like, all the little records just went to Forza Horizon or something, but the lobbies are so much cleaner, and it, there's actually a slight chance of no crash, and that's for me a great part of it and that's why another reason I decided to do this here is because I want to get back on Forza 4 online racing and now it's the best time to do it as all the le little wreckers just left the game so it's just pure enjoyment see who's fastest who has the best car and all that stuff I mean yes there will always be crashes because it's a racing game but it, it's cleaner there, as you guys see, that guy has so much more traction than me and so much more top end. So he just passed me with ease there on the outside of the turn, outbreaking me too. And I lose a position just like that immediately. Now in 10th place, if you guys see, long time bug just is so much faster. In a couple of seconds, he's already out of my sight. And now we're finally coming to an end of the race. And I think I should give a little review of this car. So the pros are, it's really fun to drive. It's tail happy and could be a possibly good drift car. The cons are, it's not a track car. And maybe it's not going to even be the best drift car because of its weight. But that's it for this video. See you guys next time. And if you're new, please like and subscribe. As that will help my channel a lot. See you guys next time. And bye.